What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. Now I've got a little bit of an offer for you all out there and it's going to be an unbelievable deal that you're not going to want to miss out on. Today I am giving you a review of my Lightning Deal Cigar for this weekend. It is the Drew Estate My Uzi Weighs A Ton Nightcrawler. Now, I say that this is my lightning deal, and what that means is I have dropped the price on this cigar for a very, very limited time only to our lowest price ever. Now, like I said, it is a very limited time of a set aside, a set allocation of these cigars that I'm gonna be able to do at that price, but once they're gone, the price will go back up, unfortunately. So, head over to the website so that you don't miss out. But what is this cigar? What is there going on with it? Why is it such an amazing cigar that I want you guys to try? So it is a four and a half by 50, and it's got a really interesting mix of tobaccos in there. I've got them up on the screen because I want to get them exactly right for you. So we've got a San Andreas Negro wrapper, Brazilian and Nicaraguan seed fillers, and an Ecuadorian Connecticut binder. Now there is more going on in those, and I'll kind of touch on them as I make my way through the cigar. And there's definitely a nice story behind the My Uzi Weighs A Ton range um, coming from one of my heroes of the cigar industry, Jonathan Drew. He kind of fought up this entire range just on an offhanded comment from uh, walking around the factories. But I'll talk about that in a bit. I wanna get into this one because this is actually one of the ones that I've not tried in the line. I've tried the night fish, uh, the, the bait fish, sorry, and I've tried the uh, bigger size up from this one. And I've actually tried the 6x60 I was very lucky to be able to get my hands on one of those quite a while ago but I really enjoyed I really enjoyed like the flavors that were in the bait fish and I really enjoyed the flavors and just the sheer intensity of the 6x60 so this four and a half by 50 Rothschild size cigar is it going to match up with the flavors let's see what it's got let's get it cut and lit let's move on to that first third I hope you will join me for the journey let's get into it so I'm just cracking my way into the first third on this one. And before I kind of get any further into it, I wanted to elaborate further on the mix of ingredients that have gone into this cigar. So I brought them up on screen again because they're quite long and I've got a terrible memory. So we've got a Brazilian Matafina Oscuro, Nicaraguan Esteli Lajero, Nicaraguan Seco Jalapa, and Nicaraguan Viso Condega fillers all the way through this cigar, which is just mind blowing to have four incredibly powerful tobaccos in one cigar. You know that this is gonna be packing a punch. It's then got uh, Connecticut Broadleaf Maduro binders, and that's wrapped in the San Andreas Negro wrapper. So you've got just a real smorgasbord of powerful, intense tobaccos and that really shines through. That first few puffs on this cigar are just like a punch of absolute flavor and absolute spice. This is a real, real spice bomb, a real flavor bomb of a cigar. There's a lingering sweetness that, which is in there as well, and that's very much just in the background, and it just stops everything being a little bit too intense. Now, don't get me wrong, this is definitely a very full-bodied, full-strength, full-power cigar. And this four and a half by 50 format, slightly short, robusto, it does give you just about the right amount of time to really delve into those flavors, but it's not so so much of a long, long full out process that you're kind of just, well, this is very one dimensional and very punchy. Now, as I'm making my way through, the burn line is slightly off, but I think that's down to my lighting technique more than anything. I was trying to do this new thing called TikTok. If, I don't know if you've all heard of it, but we're on TikTok now. So if you want to see some behind the scenes sort of photos and videos and me possibly dancing very, very embarrassingly, head over to our TikTok right now. I'll leave a link down in the description. But the flavors are definitely there and they are just real punches of flavor. My tongue is just sort of, it's almost almost like I've had too much of a very, very hot curry, but I just want more. I keep dipping into it and I keep coming back to it and I've kind of, I take a puff and the flavors take my brain into this really unique space of just intensity and pepper and spice and the very lingering sweetness in the background there. The finish is incredibly long. I'm still chewing on the puffs five, six, seven minutes after taking one. Just a really, really unique cigar. And with this being my lightning deal, and I'll tell you the price now because the price is going to be the one that is going to get this into your basket and get this into your hand and potentially you should buy more than one i'm just going to say that because the price will go back up so i'm going to stick these down at 14.99 under 15 pound for the four filler leaves alone is definitely worth the money. So head over to the website, stop this video now if you don't wanna watch the rest of it, head over to the website and grab that lightning deal while stocks last. If you're watching this 
even a few hours after the video has gone live, I cannot promise that they will still be available at $14.99. So definitely make sure that you head over to the website right now. And that is also another opportunity to make sure that you subscribe to our channel so that you get those notifications whenever our next video comes out so you don't miss out on any of our upcoming deals. I'm gonna stop talking because I really, really wanna get back into this one. That beautiful band is gonna come off ever so shortly. Now the My Uzi weighs a ton, I'll explain that in the second, third, just so that all makes a little bit more sense for you because it is such an out there name. It's so befitting of the Drew Estate ethos and the rebirth of cigars that they're bringing to the world, but it does warrant a little bit of an explanation. So let's move on to the middle third. Let's see what that's got for me and let's chat some more. I'll see you in a second. So I'm just about bang on halfway with this one. And as I've made my way through the, the first third and into that second third, those sweeter notes have become more prominent and more refined and they're definitely kind of jumping out at me. And the one that I'm kind of getting is vanilla icing, like just nice on a, on a birthday cake maybe, just some nice vanilla icing. It's nice and smooth and creamy. It's just got that right amount of sweetness and that almost little bit astringent that you get from a vanilla note you know just kind of hits you in the nostrils and you definitely know that you're tasting that real pure vanilla the spice notes in there they're becoming more kind of rounded as well and there's been that sweetness introduction that was there has became a little bit more of a zing also so i'm getting nice baked notes almost like um now if i'm going to put it together as a pairing it's like nice apple pie like a real nice baked apple pie with plenty of cinnamon on there with that vanilla icing almost ice creamy almost in there so it's a real dessert cigar but the spice is there it's in it's prominent it's it's comforting you're, you're not getting overwhelmed with the sweetness the punches of the spice come through and they come through strong now I did say I'd explain about the my Uzi weighs a ton um, name and a little bit of the story behind it so Jonathan Drew's favorite size of this cigar, and this was only ever a factory only cigar, it was the 6x60 and he used to call it his Uzi. Now he picked up a bundle of these and just said, wow, my Uzi weighs a ton. And then the, the light bulb went, that was the light bulb moment. Suddenly this entire range, this whole part of the subculture of Drew Estate where they go off on these tangents and create these incredible unique Vitolas and unique blends and unique branding, everything about them, came from that one just kind of offhanded comment of my Uzi weighs a ton, giving relevance to the public enemy record as well, because who doesn't love pub public enemy? I personally absolutely adore them. I was lucky enough to get a vinyl player quite recently and have picked up a few public enemy vinyls. So they've been playing in the house when my, when my little son's asleep, because he's only two, he doesn't need to be hearing any of that yet. But that kind of gave birth to, to this entire range. And what I enjoy about Drew Estate as a brand is they aren't afraid to take risks. The entire concept of naming a cigar after an offhanded comment is unknown in the cigar industry. There's lots of thought process that go into this. Don't get me wrong, there's definitely a lot of thought process that has gone into this cigar, but the original idea was just birthed out of that, just that light bulb moment. And now the flavours are so unique compared to any other Drew Estate cigar that I've got. The spice that carries through from those Lajero um, leaves that are in that in the filler, those Lajero, the Seco, the just the intensity, that kind of roundedness that you get from that Brazilian Matafina Oscuro. This is a dark cigar, don't get me wrong. It's definitely one that's not going to be for everyone's palate. It's a strong, full-bodied cigar, but. If you're looking to kind of branch out and you've been sort of toying with, you know, stepping out of the norm and stepping out of your kind of your comfort zone in terms of cigars, this is a great opportunity. And with my Lightning deal, you're getting it at an unbelievable price. My lowest price ever, and it's not gonna be around for long. So definitely, please, please, please snap them up while you can. I'll be keeping an eye on things and making sure that the sales are right there and you are able to get it at that lowest price possible because I want you guys to try this cigar. Unfortunately, when you come back to me, it might not be the exact same price, but it's still gonna be the best price in the UK. I'm gonna sit back, take this one down to the end of the middle third to see where those flavors take me. I've just been so enamored by this cigar so far today. I've been really lucky enough to be able to set aside this time and sit there and really enjoy this. With it being a Drew Estate cigar, they're incredibly slow smoking as well. I'm about coming up to an hour in and I'm only just halfway through a four and a half by 50. So you know that the construction is bang on and it's on point. So I'm gonna stop talking again, take this one down a little bit further, jump back in with a little bit of an update on the flavors as they progress, because I know there's gonna be some changes coming in there as I make my way in towards the final third. So I hope you'll join me in a few moments. 
So I'm coming down almost to the end of my time with this one today and I was actually enjoying it a little bit too much that I forgot to turn the camera on and tell you guys about the developments. But as I made my way through that second third and into the final third, the flavors got better and I wasn't even sure that was possible. This has been such an enjoyable cigar that I thought it was just gonna be much more of the same. But in that final third, those sweet notes, that you know, cinnamon, apple pie, that vanilla ice cream was just, it, it got deeper and deeper and longer and the spice just came through and cut through at the right points. Every single puff started off with the spice. There was that the intensity, it built up, it built up, and then it mellowed out into those beautiful sweet baking notes and those ice creamy notes and the vanilla icing. And I really, really, really love this cigar. I want you guys to try it and I don't want you to miss out on my lightning deal. So head over to the website right now, it's cigars.com, that's cgars.com. If you've liked this video as always, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. If you'd like to see more lightning deals and more reviews of the lightning deals from me, please let me know in the comment section. But until next time, I hope you're all having a great day out there. Take care of yourselves, everyone. Peace.